The Duke of Edinburgh has unveiled a monument in Staffordshire, honouring badly injured victims of burning from the Second World War. The man responsible for commissioning the monument, Dr Sandy Saunders, was himself a victim, and he still recalls the moment disaster struck. I was knocked out when I crashed. My head must have hit the instrument panel because when I, when I came two hours in an inferno, it must have been the pain of the burns that brought me round. The memorial has been dedicated to members of the Guinea Pig Club, formed in 1941 by men being treated for burns at East Grinstead's Queen Victoria Hospital in Sussex. Largely made up of Allied aircrew, the Guinea Pig Club had 649 members by 1945 and derived their name from the experimental treatment pioneered by plastic surgeon Sir Archibald Mackendo. These were guys had been brave, many of them had had been burned in battle. They, they, uh, they'd had extensive treatment by Mackindo, but they were all, all of high morale. They, they were cheerful and they taught me to endure. <clears throat> that alter, alters your personality and for the better, I think. It was uh, a wonderful, wonderful club, inspirational. Mackendall died at the age of just 59 in 1960, and since then, Prince Philip has served as the club's president. But the memory of the man whose pioneering mind changed the lives of so many afflicted, and the brave serving men who playfully referred to themselves as his guinea pigs, will both live on here at the National Memorial Arboretum. I think it is quite utterly remarkable that we are now uh, 56 years on from his death, um, that we can generate the sort of interest in, for instance, what's happening here today uh, in this particular project. And that is such a long time after he died and there are very few guinea pigs still alive. I think that is a remarkable achievement and a legacy. represent women in politics.